Hey everybody, it's uh, Scleroderma Smarto here. Hope you can hear me because I can't talk too loud because I can't take a deep breath. So guess what? <sighs> Alright, so let me just tell you the story. I hurt myself last week Thursday. Okay, ribs hurt a bit. Saturday I finally decided to go to the ER and uh, I'm in a lot of pain. My sternum is swollen. You could visit visibly see how swollen it is um, underneath my boobs that whole you know rib area right there is all tender to the touch so Saturday I couldn't take the pain anymore and I ended up going to the ER luckily UCSD took over uh, an, a smaller hospital that's right down the street from me so we went and there was like two people in the emergency room which was great so I went in they did all the x-rays and everything and uh, no broken ribs, just bruised. So they gave me some uh, pep, 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 not pep, uh, Percocet. And sent me home. And I made an appointment follow up for my GP for next week, Monday. So, okay, I've been in a lot of pain. You know, I don't take pain meds. Um, for me to take prescription based pain meds, and to go to the ER, I really have to be in pain. So today I was doing my usual crafting at my little table because I have a sale the 20th next week. Now it's been hard to take deep breaths just because of the rib pain. It's just all my rib pain, rib pain. Today I dropped my scissors. I have a little stool that I sit on. And I sit there and I, you know, like crafting to me is therapy. I love to create things. I like to create all you know, my dark goth mirrors and stuff. Um, if I could, I'll insert a picture. But if not, um, I'll put it on my, uh, my Facebook. So you can just see what I'm talking about. So, dropped my scissors today. Probably about... And today I got up early. I was up at 6.30. Figured, you know what? Get up. I told Scott about 9... Let's have coffee. Let's get ready. Made myself breakfast. I had a bagel, some cream cheese, and an and a, a, a orange a cutie. And I was going to have a peach, but the peach wasn't ripe yet. So, and coffee. So about ten o'clock, I went out to my. Oh, even earlier, nine thirty, I think. Ten o'clock, I went out to my my little area in my living room, my apartment, and I have everything I need there. The resin, I do a lot of resin pouring and all my all my supplies. Right now I'm working on these repurposing old shoes. And I was like, today I'm gonna finish it. So I even I even have glue. I think I'll take all the glue on my hands, I was telling them. I have glue. So I bent over to pick up scissors using my right hand and something right like, right, you know, the ribs you have underneath your chest, underneath, like, the left breast. Something popped. It sounded, it felt, in my head, like when you drop a bottle, and it, you know, like a full bottle, and it has that pop. That's what I heard. And I sat up, and I tried to take it deep, because I gasped. And as I gasped and inhaled, I had the worst pain I haven't had this kind of chest pain. I, I, so I kept trying to take my breath, and I couldn't take a deep breath. I just kept gasping for little, little puffs of air. And well, Scott, of all days, Scott went to his storage to go start cleaning it out because he's getting out of the record business. So of course, one day Scott's not home. He's dealing with his heart problems. He finally had the energy to go work on his storage. go to the bedroom and I I sit there at the corner of the bed I couldn't even lie down I figured maybe if I lay down the minute I put pressure on my my left hip it was like like a spring um, from my shoulder to my hip I just felt like everything was crushing with these sharp painful pain on the left side and of course you know when you hurt yourself you gasp when I would gasp, it would be worse. 
So I'm sitting there and I'm just trying to breathe. And all I could take are these little breaths. I could still barely breathe, take little breaths, right? I called my GP and talked to the triage nurse and I told her what was going on. And, oh look, you can see scleroderma right there. You see that? I'm getting scleroderma on my face. Shoot. Anyways, the GP triage nurse says, go to the hospital, I'm putting an order in for you. So I told her where I was going to go and uh, barely make it down the stairs. So every time I step on my left heel, like the pain just pushes it up into my chest, right? So they come out with a wheelchair and they, they take me in right away. And Scott, when he was in such a hurry, because I had to call him and tell him to get home, uh, forgets my wallet with my ID. Okay, that's fine. So we get in there and the guy was pushing me, kept asking me my name and I could barely speak. I said, where's your ID? Where's this? Where's that? So when he rolls me in, the guy that was taking, like the, the triage nurse that takes, you know, the intake nurse at the ER, he goes, hey, I just saw you. What are you doing back? Right? So he's like, I know who they are. He's like, well, we don't have an ID. There's guys, we don't have an ID. You know, there's that. The guy goes, it's right there just here Saturday. So Scott gives him my name and my birth date. Or I gave him my name and my birth date. So then, of course, they double check. And the nice gentleman who helped me with my IV on Saturday, you know, he started going through it again. I told him what happened. So anyways, he took me right in. He put me in a bed. Got x-rays. And, um... Um, and then they uh, had to do a CT with contrast and they took blood and they gave me uh, something in my IV for pain it, it, you know it was just I didn't want anything I didn't want them to think I was just going for pain medications you know so they did a CT scan and then they did they did an EKG x-rays and then the CT scan with contrast. And I was like, oh God, why? Well, first, they were talking about either that I did break a rib or a thoracic something. In other words, something about the lung detaching from the something, something under the rib cage. That's what they all were saying it was. And then after the CT scan, um, you know, I was telling them fibrosis, all that stuff. So, we're laying there waiting for the results of the CT scan to come back and then come back and they say, well, everything, you know, no bones broken, no thoracic, whatever. But we did find early stages of pneumonia. So we told them, well, we do have lung fibrosis. She said, yep, we saw the lung fibrosis. But they also saw that you are developing pneumonia. And it's just like, literally like the beginning stages of pneumonia. So, there's a motorcycle going by, sorry. Let's see. Now, of course, you know me from the Bonds parking lot. So I'm like, okay, great. Now I'm thinking, if I wouldn't have not, here, this is the way I think. I always think, you know, there's a reason for everything, okay? So I'm thinking, the reason that my body checked me, poked me, pained me, was I needed to get to the hospital and they needed to find that pneumonia. Because I know with scleroderma, the number one, honestly, the number one killer that I've lost a lot of friends to is pneumonia. And I think that's the reason why that happened to me. I if you can tell I'm not talking as joyful as I usually am because I am still in. If this is what football players deal with when they get knocked in the ribs, God. Give them those $10 million a year just for the pain this is because this is so much. I can't even lift my left arm up. It's like, you know, when you break your arm and it's like stuck to your side and stuff. Because when I lift my arm, it like pulls, like, you know, pulls all the muscles underneath on my, like underneath my, you know, my, on my torso and it freaking hurts. So, um, yeah. So, Scott is in, and Vaughn's right now getting my, pen, my, what is it? I'm getting azithromycin to stop the infection, or the, you know, the pneumonia and some other pain stuff. I don't know. 
so yeah everything was going great too everything was going good but once I damaged my ribs once I once I had that trauma to my torso it just seems like everything's going downhill I'm noticing see that see that darkness there and there's that line going down there you see that see that and look at right there that's all new that's all scleroderma so love you guys love all you guys all my followers all my sclerodermians my brothers and sisters out there um get yourself checked if something doesn't feel right don't put it off it takes a lot for me to go to the hospital to go to the doctors so don't forget to be scleroderma smarter and hit that bell and follow me thanks scott's here he got me ice cream. Bye.